by the end of this video, you'll know the five tips for litter box success. Did you know that 80% of kittens can be fully litter trained within one week? It's true. Kittens have a natural instinct to bury their waste, making it easier than you think. Let me show you my foolproof method that works every time. Today, I'm sharing my ultimate guide to litter training kittens fast. I've fostered and cared for countless kittens over the years, and I've developed a method that's guaranteed to work. Before we dive in, let's really understand why kittens naturally want to bury their waste. It's deeply ingrained in their instincts for several reasons. Predator protection. In the wild, burying waste helps to mask their scent from predators, keep, keeping them safe and hidden. Cats are naturally clean animals. Burying their waste helps to maintain hygiene in their living space, preventing the spread of disease. Early learning. In their first few weeks of life, kittens learn about elimination from their mother. She stimulates them to go to the bathroom and cleans up after them. This early experience sets the stage for their litter box habits later on. When to start litter training? Because of this early learning phase with their mother, you can't start litter training too soon. However, you can introduce kittens to the litter box at around four weeks old. At this age, they're starting to explore their surroundings and develop their own elimination habits. All right, now that you understand your kitten's natural instincts and the perfect time to start, let's get into the nitty gritty of litter training. And don't go anywhere because the last of these five steps is the absolute key to success. Number one, choose the right litter box. This is the foundation of successful litter training. Here's what you need to sit. Here's what you need to consider. Shallow sides. The first litter box you choose should be shallow enough for your kitten to easily step in and out of. They have little legs and a high-sided box can be like climbing a mountain for them. No covers. Covered litter boxes can seem cozy to us, but they can be intimidating for kittens. They want to be able to see their surroundings while they do their business. So a covered box can feel like a trap. In this case, size does matter. If the, bo the box should be big enough for your kitten to comfortably turn around and dig, but not so large that they feel lost in it. A good rule of thumb is about one and a half times the length of your kitten. Plastic boxes are easy to clean but some kittens may prefer the feel of a cardboard box. Experiment to see what your kitten likes best. Let's move on to selecting the right litter. This is an important decision because there are several options to choose from. Clumpy clay. This is a popular choice as it clumps waste for easy removal. However, it can be dusty and some kittens may try to eat it, which can be harmful. Silica gel crystals. These crystals are absorbent and control odor well, but they can be pricey and some kittens may not like the texture. Natural litters made from materials like wood, corn, wheat, or paper. These litters are typically dust-free and biodegradable. However, they may not clump as well as clay litters. My recommendation for kittens, I personally recommend a natural, unscented, clumpy litter. It's gentle on their paws and less likely to cause respiratory problems or digestive issues if ingested. Now that we've covered the litter, the next step is placing the litter box properly. This isn't just about finding a corner to tuck the box away in. Location is crucial, especially for kittens. A quiet spot. Kittens can be easily startled, 
So choose a quiet area away from high traffic or loud noises. Accessibility. The litter box should be in a spot where your kittens can easily access it. If it's too far away or difficult to get into, they may not make it in time. Multiple boxes. Here's a key, especially for kittens. Have multiple litter boxes around your home. Kittens have small bladders and may not always make it to a single box in time. Having several options increases the chances of them finding a box where they need it and prevents accidents. Now that you have the right setup, it's time to introduce your kitten to the litter box. This is a gentle process and it's all about making a positive first impression. Timing. The best times to introduce your kitten to the litter box are after meals or naps, when they're naturally more likely to eliminate. Gentle guidance. Gently place your kitten in the litter box and let them explore. You can use your fingers to scratch at the litter, demonstrating how it feels and showing them that it's easy, that it's okay to dig. The treasure trick. A fun way to encourage digging is to bury a small toy or treat in the litter. Your kitten will likely start digging to find a treasure and they'll get the idea of using the box. No forcing. Never force your kitten into the litter box or scold them if they don't use it right away. Patience and positivity are key. And now the most, most crucial step that you won't want to miss. Positive reinforcement is key. This is a secret sauce of litter training kittens. Remember, positive enforcement creates a positive association with the litter box, making your kid, kitten want to go there. And here's how to do it. Immediate praise. As soon as your kitten finishes using the litter box, shower them with praise and affection. Use a happy, encouraging voice and let them know they did a great job. Tasty treats. Offer your kitten a small treat immediately after they leave the box. This rewards their good behavior and strengthens the connection between using the box and getting a tasty reward. Consistency is key. Be consistent with your praise and treats every time your kitten uses the box. This helps solidify the positive association and makes them likely to repeat this behavior. Now troubleshooting accidents. If your kitten has an accident outside of the box, don't punish them. Instead, clean the area thoroughly with an enzyme cleaner to eliminate the odor. Then place them in the litter box to reinforce the correct behavior, maintaining a clean litter box. Scoop the litter box daily and completely change the litter weekly. A clean litter box is essential for encouraging consistent use. If you like this video and want to see more cat videos, please smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.